Hi, this is Jason from Smartmarks, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a simple assessment. Each time you log into the site, you'll start here in the assessment index. To begin a new assessment, click the new assessment icon in the bar at the top. The assessment details window lets us set some basic properties for the assessment. On the left, you'll find the most common settings. We'll begin by giving this assessment a name. This is the name that will be saved under in the assessment index. The assessment title will be shown at the top of the response form and can include multiple lines if you'd like. Finally, we have the option of including a space for students to enter their name or ID. This information will be included in the generated reports and can be helpful when it comes time to enter grades or to return feedback to students. We're going to include a field for the student name. On the right are a number of other options for layout of the response form and student reports. We're going to leave those at their defaults today and click Save to continue. This is the Assessment Builder. On the right, you'll see the details for the assessment or for the section you're working on. Right now, we can see the details we just entered, and if we wanted to, we could edit them by clicking here. We can always return to the assessment details by clicking Settings at the top of the window. On the left, we can add and edit sections. We've already got a page started here, so we'll click Add Section and select Multiple Choice Section. We've got some options here for our new multiple choice section. We can change the title, the type of questions, formatting, and so on. We're going to leave those at their defaults for now and just add 20 multiple choice questions by entering 20 here. We can key this right away or we can leave it till later. I'm going to leave it till later and just click Save. If we hit Preview now, we'll get a PDF of the response form we've built. Here's our name section at the top and the multiple, so multiple choice section that we added to our response form. We could print this right now if we were in a hurry and we could key it later on. To enter a key, we click on the multiple choice section and then click edit now. Starting with the first question, I can enter the correct answers just by typing letters. If I click save, we're all ready to print this and hand it out to our class. There's a lot more that we can do with this. We can customize our multiple choice section further, build a numeric response or written response section, or start adding learning objectives to our assessment. You can follow the links on the left to learn more. Thanks for watching.